Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Please continue to do so. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. So we're gonna pull one card for love. All right, let's see what is going on. Okay, four of wands. So it could be twin flame. It, it, it did pop out like this. So if I turn it over, it will be reversed. I don't know. Let's just keep going. Um, so four wands upright. It could be twin flame. Successful completion of a project. A home move or a move or a closing something out. Cycle. Going to a new. This could even be leaving one situation going into another. This could even be same sex relationship. This could even be closing one relationship out going to the next this could even be, um, I always get circle of women with the four of wands. So maybe your friends are insulating you, um, encouraging you, helping you. Um, if you have girlfriends or guy friends or, but I do get a circle of women. Um, the four of wands, um, uh, this could even be a reunion. Someone want a reunion here. Um, so reunion. So there was disharmony or disunion, or if that's a word, um, Something was disorganized. It wasn't together. So someone could want to reunite. Okay. So does that say reconciliation? Does that say we're going to be together for the rest of our lives? No. If I want to reunite with a friend that I knew in fifth grade, that's all I want to do is reunite with them. You know, laugh it up, talk, and then possibly go our separate ways. Now for you, it could be different. This person could want to reunite hook up, do what we used to do, and then go my separate way. So keep in mind, in regards to these words that you're hearing on these readings, reunite, reconciliation, um, coming back together. What is it all about? Reduce it down, okay? Um, let's see. Uh, career and finance for Taurus. All right, so rebirth. So you need to get clear on your plans here uh, judgment the universe could be asking you like listen to the call um you got the star card under the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with an aquarius if you are not this is about healing healing the self getting on the right path um uh, dropping the dead weight the baggage from previous relationships for you are carrying it with you therefore relationships in the future possibly break down they don't work you overthink you overextend you stay in situations too long some of you the star card there maybe you're a little too sexual um with the star card yep um you could have been in situations where somebody was just looking you up wow i said reconcile with somebody from fifth grade so somebody maybe from your past you grew up with was looking you up you know maybe just to engage with you have sex with you uh reunite with you see hook up with you what can i don't know whatever can happen right and then you have rebirth and career and finance this is asking you to go back to something revive relive make solid plans also a decision needs to be made so we know what a decision is it's when you go in you make an incision and you cut away so you need to decide what you're leaving behind where you're severing ties at um this is scorpio energy it's like you this is outdated outworn loyalties to the job to this career to something that you need to possibly let go of it's not working for you okay maybe fertility is halted yeah you're in the middle it, it's stunted your um growth there or your growth in this industry you've hit a cap or you've hit a ceiling or it's not enough or you need to bring in something new let's see what is going on okay so we got abundance maybe abundance of love energy time devotion whatever then we have a newborn baby so this could even be that you have a newborn baby or this um yeah with the could be bringing the baby home with the four of wands um a lot of women coming and celebrating helping you um and then this could even be um a new project a new idea with the newborn baby and then we have smart 
making a smart decision, um, especially with uh, judgment in your career in finance, making a smart decision. Um, save for a big purchase or something that you want to invest in um, with the judgment card here. Uh, family, family could be coming into family, newborn baby, family, um, lack though. There's lack here. Uh, divorce. Okay. All right. All right. There we go. And then mom. So some of you are a new mom with the newborn baby. Somebody already has a family. Oh, somebody was keeping you on the side. Okay. And um, they already have a family. Maybe they were promising you divorce, but it wasn't happening. Uh, maybe you made the smart decision to let this go or to relieve yourself or step out of this. There was lack of effort or moving forward. There's somebody you were dealing with also who was promising you a family or acting as if you guys were family or are family. Um, that maybe you guys would have a baby, a bundle of joy, abundance. Um, that you would be a mom or that they would make you a mom. That they were going to leave some lifestyle behind, divorce them. This could be a low life, a thug or somebody here who um, was promising you that you know, we're going to do it right, or we're going to be a family, or that I want to be a family. Um, somebody wants a new start with you also. Be somebody that you already are in uh, her cahoots with, oh, Lord, that you're already in a relationship with, or you knew, or you knew from your past. Um, They might be the smart option, but you don't really want them. You want this bad boy who gives you lack when you can have abundance with this smart option, but you haven't released the baggage from the past relationship and you still want to revive something here. This is what I have for you, Taurus. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. What are you trying to relive or revive? Um, what are you trying to bring into um, in your financial sector? Um, who do you think is your twin flame? Um, do you have two choices or more? Uh, that's uh, questions. Let's answer them. Let's talk about it down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Uh, come catch me live where I do a collective reading and then answer your questions every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, what else? Buy me a coffee if you're feeling moved to do so. The link is below. Thank you, guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.